Okay, we got one coming in from, well, most of these, but this one came in from the spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Google and, questions. Which yeah. you'll put down in the doodly-doo if other people have questions. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, so, there, there are communist experiments that have happened. Yeah. And there are real-world communist countries right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but usually what happens to those communist countries is other countries work together to stop them. Correct. Okay. One way that maybe it's because they're bad or maybe it's not, but mm -hmm. it, that's the thing that happens. So the question is, must communism come from one country first? Is, is anything other than international action doomed to failure? Okay. Must it come from one country first or is anything um, short of complete international action doomed to failure? That's a little bit complicated, but I don't think it's actually that complicated. Um, most countries can try communism, try socialism, try sort of Marxism um, and sort of leftist organization. Uh, most of them can try that, and most of them probably will be beset by from all sides mm. um, by the capitalist world. Um, look at the places that have done it, your Cubas, your Venezuelas. Um, uh, the capitalist world doesn't like that mm -hmm. and so they will intervene um that doesn't mean that they're doomed to failure um failure isn't really a binary state with nations mm -hmm. um you could say that cuba and venezuela are successful you could say that they are failures depends on the the criteria the metrics that you're using in a lot of ways they are successful and are remaining successful okay um and they're still communist states now more or less, yeah. In Venezuela, at very least, uh, it definitely is a, a communist experiment. Mm -hmm. um, so you could say that they are failures. You could say that they're successes. Depends on your bias. Depends on what you're looking at there. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I think, though, that in order to have a successful wide-scale experiment, you need at least one nation that is sort of perceived as unstoppable. Uh, so and China. China, yeah, China has been able to do its thing. Um, China, of course, has its problems, um, but those problems are sort of baked into their system. They're not inherent to communism. They're inherent to the way that it was applied. Okay. But, for example, if the United States decided that it wanted to take on full socialism, um, that it wanted to um, undergo an experiment like that, Yes, it would receive pressure from other capitalist nations, but it's not like Venezuela where the rest of the world can just say, all right, we're not going to give you the necessary resources that you need to survive. Because ultimately, you can't really do that with the United States. Um, so if a superpower were to do that, um, it would have a large reaching effect. What about Russia? Well, <laughs> Russia in its own way has been successful in a lot of ways. Is it a communist country? Um, it's not really anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Is it a socialist country? No, not really. Not anymore. Okay. Um, it hasn't been since, you know, at least the 80s. Um, and people like Putin have been trying very hard to sort of push it towards that, uh, you know, oligarch ideal. Okay. Um, and really the thing is, is that if on a long enough timeline, very few things last forever. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would say that there was a period where Russia was quite successful, mm -hmm. um, that it did very well. But again, you, you can't really expect that things will last forever. Um, I think that again, it would be nice if the whole world decided that this was a thing, but that's never going to happen. Um, what you really need, though, is um, nations that are willing to step up, that are willing to do their own thing, and who are willing to um, take the risks and take the hits. Um, by some definitions, they are all going to fail. And by some definitions, they will also succeed. It's just the question of what we consider our priorities. Uh, will the successes of the United States, if they undergo a socialist revolution, will are those successes the things that we really need? Are they the things that we want? Um, are they better than what we had before? That's what we have to consider. Okay. Um, less of whether or not it is a blanket success or failure. Okay. All right. All right.